Hey everyone, so I decided to film a little clothing haul for you guys. I have a lot of stuff I really want to show you guys that I basically accumulated over the past handful of months. So basically all the way up from like May till a couple days ago. I'm really happy with all the stuff that I've gotten over the past couple of months. Um, if you're someone who's ever like struggled with style or fashion or just like any of like the clothing in their closet, then we're probably in the same boat. For like a while, I had been wanting to kind of like just like figure out my style and like have pieces in my closet that I like was actually really excited to wear and like that I feel showcased um, the person I like am and was. And yeah, I feel like I'm finally starting to collect pieces that I feel like emulate that. So I'm really excited to show you guys all the pieces I have. And again, I've accumulated this all over like months. So I didn't buy all of this at one go. And also I do have a job, so I've bought almost all of this stuff with my own money. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start off with Zara because that's kind of the place where I have the most stuff from and is where I recently was a couple of days ago. First piece. I got this jacket and it's basically just like this members only jacket but the material is um, way thinner and way like more breathable which is awesome for me just because I live in a super hot climate 24 7 365 so it's a style that I have always loved and I'm able to wear where I'm like live and where I'm from. And the next piece is this pink skirt. If you follow my blog The Jeans and a Tee then you'll see that I made a post on just the color of pink and how in love I am with the color of pink. So I saw this and I'm obsessed with skirts, especially skirts that have shorts underneath and um, pockets. So yeah, I feel like this is so wearable and you can dress this up and down. If you work in some type of office or corporate office but you're able to wear like, I don't know, funky or colorful pieces, then I would definitely recommend this. It's super comfortable and just like fits so perfectly and I feel like it's so like attractive on the body like it's so flattering 10 out of 10 and um, the next piece I got is this black t-shirt and of course um, the thing that attracted me the most was this little rainbow sequin patch I used to be someone who just like hated color and only wanted to wear like neutral so like black white gray cream etc and now I'm finally starting to like Oh, and the fact that like I love pink and I love like sequins, I love glitter, etc. etc. So yeah, I think this is super cute. Um, got it for $12.90. So the next um, pieces I got were from a separate shopping trip to Zara, and this is when I was looking for pieces for Lollapalooza, and I ultimately didn't even end up wearing these pieces, but I saw these pants, and the bottoms are just like the best part of these pants. These were $22.95, and um, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but they're just these like glittery knit pants with these frills at the bottom. And there's just something so cool about this. I was actually talking to the people I was with when I was at Zara and I was saying, I just feel like every piece in Zara right now is just like completely all about like Studio 54, like super disco and just like super costume-esque. I think there's something really cool about that because I love people who go and take risks and just dress like the best possible version of themselves. Like, it's just so exciting. What I'm trying to say is, like, wear more fun stuff, basically. Next piece is this dress, and it comes with this t-shirt sewed onto the top of this already. Um, I'm super into this whole look of, like, the t-shirt underneath, like, a tank top or, like, t-shirt underneath a dress. And I'm doing, like, a really bad remake of this, but, um, yeah, I saw this, and um, the print is just, like, a chewing gum. Um, the material is like that scuba material, and this is just like a cropped um, white tee. I don't think, yeah, I don't have the price tag on it anymore, but I believe it was also like $22.90 or something like that. So, the next thing I'm going to go over um, are pieces from Motel Rocks. First thing is this mesh white skirt. The bottom is um, more see-through than like the top. The top has like a slip part, but um, yeah, basically I didn't mind to wear this skirt with like um, a one-piece like body suit it up realizing it was kind of like too tight on my butt to where you could see like the outline of the swimsuit instead of not wearing it. And also it's kind of like tight at the bottom here so it's hard to like move around and dance. And the next piece I did wear, when I saw this on Motel Rocks, I just like fell in love with the print and like the sleeves. I ended up getting the skirt in the same print. And 
there's just something about this that's so like 60s and like mod which I completely fell in love with. The only thing I would say though is if you're a tall chick, this probably won't be the dress for you just because I'm five foot two and I was constantly trying to pull this dress down. So if it was short on me, it's definitely gonna be short on you. I'll definitely leave the links to all these pieces down below so you can shop them as well. Um, the next pieces are just like random pieces from like everywhere. The next piece is by BCBG and I actually got this like I think even during the spring so I think it had to have been like April but um, yeah it's um, a cropped tank at the top and then it goes down to this um, see-through like chiffon and it's lit out on the sides and I think this is the perfect piece to wear on top of like um, um, like those um, short sleeve crop tees it probably goes like right above your knees so it's like the perfect piece to wear with like a cute like pleated skirt or like high-waisted jeans it's just bone and I the price on here says like I think originally $58 but I know I definitely got this for like it had to have been like $13 it was like an amazing price okay and then the next piece I got were these um overalls they're white and white's probably not like the best thing to get in terms of overalls just because they're covering your whole body but there is something about overalls that is just like so good I don't even know what it is, but I'm just obsessed with overalls. They're the coolest piece and it's so easy to get dressed if you're like also into overalls because you just need to like put like a t-shirt on, put these on and then like add a pair of shoes and then you're like good to go. Um, so yeah, I also got these from Bloomingdale's but they're by Pistola and I got these in a medium and um, the only reason why I got them in a medium was because the small wasn't available and if the small was available, I probably would have gotten it. They just start to... I guess like sag a little bit which like overalls already like aren't that flattering so when you like start to sag it's just like it's not good but like whatever you're feeling yourself I'm not even really sure why I bought this I'm not sure I'll ever wear this but like I feel like it's kind of funny so I have this suede vest with this fringe and like I'm hoping one day this actually comes in handy for something because I think it's super cool um, but I got this I think there was only like a large available and I thought I was, I kind of liked the oversized look. So I got it and who is this by? This is by Blank NYC and was originally $88. But I think I also got this for like super cheap because there's no way I would have spent $88 on this, let alone like 40. So it was definitely cheaper than that as well. So yeah, I think I originally bought this to like wear to a music festival and then I realized I like wasn't gonna wear this to a music festival. Okay, and then the next piece I got was this like bondage-esque choker, except I know they the most popular ones are like the circle ones, but I got this one in the heart, and I think I bought this off of like Amazon for like $4 or something, but they're, I don't know, what me to this? I think it was like Dua Lipa, if you know her, she's a singer, she's like queen of chokers, and I'm pretty sure she was like wearing one, and then also Soko, I posted a, um, a post on my blog about Soko and included a choker that was similar to this that she wears. I don't know, at first I was a little bit nervous to wear this because I was like, this is definitely like bondage-esque and I'm not sure if I like, if it's gonna come off that way or not. But it's kind of funny seeing like this short little girl walking around with like, like pink hair and like this like choker, but I, don't, I just think it's so cute. And for like $4, it's like, why not try it? So the next um, item I got were these um, yellow tinted aviators. Um, you'll probably have seen like a lot of people wearing these recently. Um, super 70s, super curve-esque, but like also super glam and cool. I got these from Zero UV for like literally $6. I'm pretty sure it's called Zero UV because it doesn't have any UV protection, but I think they're awesome. I wore these to Lollapalooza and it was just like so good. No, I think they're so fun and I recently got into sunglasses just because um, sometimes I'll be wearing an outfit and I'll be thinking like, this is so not me, this is definitely super basic, um, I just like don't feel myself, and then I'll put on like, a pair of like weird ass sunglasses and I'll feel like, okay, like, like, I feel me now, like, I feel dope, like, I feel so good, and I don't know, there's something about that, especially if you're someone who struggles with accessories, um, throwing on a pair of sunglasses, well, one, you're always gonna need them, and two, you can experiment so much with them like literally these were six dollars and i'm sure you can find ones at like 
those cheap stores for like a dollar 99 cents. I think I'm gonna start with um, shoes now. Ooh. So, um, I don't know if everyone else has this um, store called Saks Off Fifth, but basically it's like a version of Saks, but it's kind of like the outlet version. Um, so everything is way more discounted. Um, you still get like your designers and like your popular brands at the department store, but just for cheaper. I saw these shoes. Um, these are by Ferragamo. And I've like always kind of been into like this loafer-esque type of look, except um, I think something that attracted me was like the thick heel. I've fallen in love with the Gucci loafers, the slide on ones, but obviously I wasn't willing to spend like the price that it was like asking for. These were originally $4.95 and I ended up paying $1.49 for them. And I just like think it's so worth it. If you're like into shoes at all, then you know Salvatore Ferragamo is like the peak when it comes to shoes. I remember going to the mall with my mom. My mom would always stop and look at Ferragamos and I would just think like, these are amazing. My mom would be like, these are really like the best shoes ever. So being able to like, this is like my first like actual designer purchase. So I just like, yes. Yes, like, look at that. I'm gonna be like that Olympian who like broke his leg. Like, literally, yes, yes. Like, I have yet to wear these out either. But like, look at these. And um, another thing about me, I love like learn about me. I'm obsessed with stars. I want to tattoo stars all over my body. They're definitely like a bitch to break in, which I wasn't expecting. I just think they're so cool and so cute, and I included these on my festival sneaker post on my blog, so you can go there and click the link and shop them if you're interested in these. Pull these up for like a hot second because they're so dirty from Lollapalooza, but um, I actually didn't even buy these. I bought, well I did buy them, but like not from who you would think. My friend basically had this like pop-up shop in her room. Um, and just was selling like a bunch of her clothing and I got these shoes. I'm not sure if she like did this studying to them or if she bought them like that. But yeah, I really wanted black Converse. I think they're like the best you can get for yourself, especially if you're looking for sneakers to wear. They're timeless, they're classic, and they're just so cool. I'm that type of person that will like assess a person by looking at their shoes and I'm like, okay, if you have cool shoes, and like we're gonna get along really well. And then the next, or the last piece I got, for these sandals from Madewell, we got like a really good pair of sandals from the Madewell in, um, I think it was like off of Broadway in New York, that um, I decided to go back and I went to their Lincoln Road location in Miami. Loved the metallic look of these. I'm definitely not into like the gladiator look, but I feel like with these, they're not necessarily gladiator look. They're more like low key. Super, let's see if you can. I think they're super cool. I think they're super flattering on the foot. Don't I think they were like they were like 40% off, so I think they were like $30 or something. Um, since I'll be in Florida for a little bit, I decided to get them because I knew I would be wearing open toed shoes a lot. So yeah, that's basically it. This video is super long. And also, if you've noticed, I'm filming this on my MacBook Pro. One, because it's super easy. I kinda wanna go back to like the basics in a way. I always like make excuses for myself as to why to not film a video when I literally have a camera right here I just have to press record and then I'll like cut out the bits where I say like too much or um too much so yeah um this has been a clothing haul by moi I hope you enjoy I hope I didn't ramble too much I hope I didn't annoy you too much let me know what you think hopefully this wasn't that shitty I'll try to leave links to everything down below um, you can also shop some of the pieces I have here on my blog. I have a shopping link and you can just click that and then you click the picture of that girl getting her ass slapped and then you can like shop all the stuff that I already have basically. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. I'll be posting a how to make a denim choker soon, hopefully this week. I'm just not sure if I'm 100% about the editing of it. But yeah, love you guys. Bye!